एवरीवन वेलकम टू जीएस कोर्ट टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मेंस कॉन्सेप्ट मैपिंग एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो इन मेंस कॉन्सेप्ट मैपिंग वी डिस्कस ए क्वेश्चन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ व्हिच वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हिच कॉन्सेप्ट्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन द मेंस एग्जामिनेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए क्वेश्चन आस्क्ड बाय यूपीएससी इन मेंस 2021 and the question is what are the research and developmental achievements in applied biotechnology how will these achievements help to uplift the poorer sections of the society right so in this particular question clearly there are two parts firstly we are supposed to discuss what are the research and developmental achievements uh in the field of applied biotechnology applied biotechnology is uh, that kind of that type of biotechnology which has its applications in various sectors in industries agriculture and all right so that form of biotechnology is called as applied biotechnology now what are the research and developmental achievements under uh, applied biotechnology and in the second part how these achievements have helped poorer sections of the society right so these are two parts that we are supposed to address in this particular uh, topic in this particular question now what is the concept involved in this particular question the concept is related to related to application of biotechnology concept is related to applications of biotechnology in various fields and specifically fields which have various influence on the lives of poorer sections of the society right so we know that uh, there are various applications of biotechnology for example it has its application in medical sector in medical sector where we can use biotechnology biotechnology can be used for the uh, for let's say gene therapy it can be used for stem cells therapy it can be used for the development of let's say vaccines drugs and even hormones fine uh, moreover biotechnology under medical sector is also used for diagnosis purpose not only for treatment but also for diagnosis we use biotechnology for example rt pcr right so that is first field where biotechnology has its application then in the next uh, next field is agriculture agriculture is also an important field where we are using we have already started use of biotechnology you must be aware of bt cotton right bt cotton is a genetically modified crop that is being used in india since 2002 and this bt cotton is a pest resistant crop as a result of which the use of pesticides and those input cost has reduced for farmers right so that is the sector agriculture sector then it has its application even in environmental conservation environmental conservation so in environment conservation in environmental conservation we are using biotechnology and that use of biotechnology to conserve environment and to reduce pollution is called as bio remediation bio remediation because of which we can convert uh, certain organic pollutants into their simpler forms so that their effect on environment can be reduced right so these are uh, various sectors where we can use uh, biotechnology apart from this there are various other sections uh, other sectors as well for example it can be used in dna fingerprinting as well dna fingerprinting where we and this dna fingerprinting has its has its application in criminal investigation so for the investigation of crimes we can use dna fingerprinting fine so uh, these different concepts related to biotechnology you should be aware of in order to address this particular question now let us discuss what will be the answer for this particular question so firstly in the introductory part we will define biotechnology 
so what exactly do we mean by biotechnology biotechnology is use of living organisms use of uh, let's say cells use of various biochemicals various living processes for the development of products which are useful for human beings right for example uh, use of use of recombinant dna technology for the development of let's say vaccines we can use recombinant dna technology for the development of vaccines and these vaccines play an important role in uh, in various diseases you can give example of covid 19 as well so we were able to tide over the condition of covid 19 because of the use of vaccines only fine so that way we can define biotechnology now this uh, applied biotechnology uh, has its applications in various fields of our life for example in medical sector agriculture sector which we have already pointed out so that also you can write in the introductory part so that you give a glimpse of your answer uh, that you are going to write now firstly in the body part in the body part of the answer we will discuss about research and developmental achievements research and developmental achievements in the field of applied biotechnology so here you can highlight let's say development of various kinds of vaccines uh, like you can talk about covid shield vaccine or you can talk about if we if we uh, if we are supposed to write about india you can even talk about uh, uh, let's say uh, covaxin developed by bharat biotech so that covaxin is a, is considered as an inactivated type of vaccine inactivated type of vaccine wherein uh, we have used inactivated inactivated sars cov2 virus fine so that is one of the one of the research and developmental achievement that we can highlight similarly in the recent past we have developed uh, dmh11 or genetically modified mustard so that is also an achievement right uh, if we talk about international organization then monsanto has developed bt cotton bt is patented by monsanto so bt varieties are one of the important application of applied biotechnology one of the important research uh, of applied biotechnology right similarly we can even discuss about uh, production of insulin so insulin is being produced and this production of insulin has helped us uh, tackle diabetes in diabetic people right then uh, even you can talk about uh, DNA fingerprinting. DNA fingerprinting has helped uh, various uh, various uh, investigating agencies in order to in order to investigate various instances of crime. Right. So that way you can you can talk about various research and developmental achievements uh, in the field of applied biotechnology. Your focus should be on let's say development of vaccines, development of hormones, various kinds of drugs then uh, even you can talk about uh, diagnosis techniques like rt pcr reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction so that also you can uh, you can give as an example of uh, research and developmental achievements and then you can even talk about genetically modified crops genetically modified organisms which are also called as transgenic organisms so all those are developmental achievements even you can highlight uh, gene therapy so because of gene therapy we are able to tackle various genetic diseases even you can talk about stem cells therapy which has helped us generate uh, or uh, which has helped us to make sure that various blood related diseases are tackled right so that way you can highlight this particular part now you have to write how these achievements have helped how these achievements achievements and their help to poorer section their help to poorer sections fine so here we can uh, talk let's say we can write let's say uh, due to development of various kinds of vaccine uh, on large scale we can give these vaccine shots to 
uh, to poorer sections of society not only to poorer sections of society but uh, more often than not diseases infectious diseases have negative impact on poorer sections of the society so in order to build preventive health in them we can use vaccines similarly cost of various drugs various hormones we are able to reduce because of the use of biotechnology only right then availability of food has increased uh, due to development of genetically modified crops in india we know that most of the farmers are small and marginal farmers so they are able to tackle various uh, various changes in climatic conditions because of the use of genetically modified crops so that has also helped uh, let's say poorer section of society uh, similarly you can even talk about let's say uh, pollution more often than not it is poorer section of the society which is at receiving end because of pollution be it water pollution air pollution etc so with the help of biotechnology we are able to tackle this kind of pollution and those that also has a positive impact on poorer section of the society right then uh, even even development of uh, low cost diagnostic techniques are also an important uh, help to poorer sections of the society right so that way you can bring in various aspects uh, of uh, biotechnology and how they have helped poorer sections of the society uh, to live a good life right so that way body part of this particular answer can be written in conclusion we can write some of the aspects for example uh, biotechnology and its use especially in medical sector uh, in the form of gene therapy and stem cells therapy is still uh, beyond the reach of poorer sections of the society and that's why there is a need to augment there is a need to improve uh, research in this particular field so that cost of gene therapy as well as stem cells therapy can be brought down and which uh, will help poorer sections of the society as well and in india we have already started taking steps for that particular uh, for that particular uh, aim wherein we can reduce the prices of uh, various biotechnology services and for that we have allowed 100% fdi uh, through automatic route, route in startups related to biotechnology in india right so that way you can write uh, about this particular question fine now on the basis of question that we have discussed what can be the probable questions so the probable questions may be let's say they may ask you about uh, application in medical sector here in this particular question applications in general were asked but they may ask questions question on applications in medical sector medical sector or applications in agriculture sector in one of the years they have already asked uh, how biotechnology can help us achieve the goal of doubling farmers income by 2022 right so that question has already been asked or there may be a question on let's say what are the challenges challenges in the widespread use of widespread use of biotechnology what are the challenges with respect to widespread use of biotechnology so such questions can also be asked by upsc so here you are supposed to write about applications uh, only in medical sector or only in agriculture sector and in the second question the challenges are uh, are in the form of let's say uh, cost is high right secondly uh, the acceptability of these products that are being developed using biotechnology is not much because of uh, let's say poor awareness for example there is uh, there is protest against genetically modified crops uh, then one of the uh, important challenge is that uh, use of biotechnology in an unregulated manner may lead to harmful impacts so we will have to curb those harmful impacts as well by regulating use of biotechnology especially in medical sector for therapeutic use only there should not be use of biotechnology and various advancements in the field of biotechnology for non therapeutic use right so those challenges we need to 
टैकल इन ऑर्डर टू इम्प्रूव और इन ऑर्डर टू इंक्रीज द यूज ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी अक्रॉस वेरियस सेक्टर्स राइट सो दैट वे यू कैन अप्रोच दीज क्वेश्चन एज वेल थैंक यू